All right, hello, AP Music Theory students. Um, in addition to doing the, the uh, note ID, let's go ahead and write a couple melodies just to practice our notation and just getting comfortable with the staff. So we're gonna do one in treble clef and one in bass clef. Let me give you a couple of tips and pointers so it goes a little quicker for you and seems a little smoother. Um, the first thing I would suggest that you do is just go ahead and break the staff into measures. So we can see here there's a pickup beat, so a, a short measure and then one, two, three, four measures in the first system, and then four in the second system, and four in the third system. Go ahead and put your treble clef in. Each line. All right, now instead of just filling in notes and really over overdoing it, let's keep, you know, let's not overwork the work. So just use slashes and you don't even need to put your stems in yet. Just put the circles and the dots or the slashes where they should go. Now this is just a suggestion um, that may help you, but if you want to do it a different way, you can. Just keep in mind that um, follow the same stem direction. One thing that uh, may be helpful is to realize that this third line, which is the line B, I call it the B equator because notes below the line B, the stems go up on the right side, so like this. If the notes above the B equator, the stem goes down on the other side. So you'll see that in just a minute here. Now, if you feel like you wanna start putting in the stems, um, you know, before you actually finish it, that's fine too. But you see how it moves, moves along a little quicker this way? And that way you're not spending an hour making an art project Also, when you do this, think about the note names, C, F, E, F, G. Oh, I forgot to do, one thing I forgot is our key signature. You'll see in this piece, there is one flat. But that should help get you through this in a fairly tiny manner. See, I should have put the stem down there. So I'll go back and fix that. When you're on the B, Depending on the melodic line and which way it's headed, it may be better to put them both up or both down. So this one technically should have been down. We'll redo that like so. G, G, G. Okay, now let's look at the second one. Obviously you need to finish this. If we look at the second one, we'll see that it is in the bass clef. And it's only two systems. Let me move this up. So we're gonna put our bass clef in. Remember, it's just a C with two dots here. And same thing, it has a little pickup beat. It's in common time. Common time, which is four, four. Common time equals four, four. I didn't put the common time in here. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Um, anyway, same thing. Put the slashes and that'll save you time. You might want to put the measures in all of them ahead of time. It just depends on what, what feels the best to you. See, in this case, I didn't really have a complete measure here, so I would have probably been better off to back this up a little bit. And do the same thing that I did before, where I took the time to break up the measures equally. Okay. This one's a little bit easier. I think what makes it easier is when there's not a little pickup beat. It's easier to split them up equally into four parts. 
That's the idea here. You see the stems are all down on the left side. All right, just for fun, you can put in the dynamics too. You can see there's a crescendo that starts here and a longer day crescendo. In the second system, there's also a day crescendo and you're moving to piano. Starting piano here, dynamics, this second phrase that comes in on the G. That's the end of the phrase there. Starts mezzo forte. Okay, I want you to practice doing this. Try to make it as clean as you can. It's good practice. Think about the note names. All right, talk to you soon.